Welcome to Sustain This, a podcast where we discuss mindful consumption, personal style, and the quest for living a more intentional life. I'm Alyssa, a sustainable stylist. And I'm Christina, a shopaholic turned minimalist-ish. And I'm Sina, a color consultant and slow fashion style coach. Together, we will unpack the nuances of what it really means to be a conscious consumer and find more joy in what we have right now. So grab your tea, your coffee, or whatever floats your boat, and join us in the conversation. Let's go. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We are in Copenhagen. Ah, this is the first time we have been in the same room together. Mm-hmm. Doing the podcast. I mean, doing, doing the we've podcast. Been together. We've been in the same room for a while. Yeah. For well, a oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. But like, this is our first time actually meeting in person. So, normally, if you don't know, Alyssa and I are both from Canada. We film in Eastern Standard Time. Alyssa, I mean, Sina is in Denmark. So, Whenever we do get together to record the podcast, it's bright and early, 7 a.m. our time. And uh, yeah, afternoon we, for me. Afternoon for you. Yeah. But we meet virtually, and uh, this is, it's exciting to be in the yeah, same room. Is. So, this is a very special uh, couple of episodes coming up for you guys because it'll probably be, I don't know, another six months to a year before we're in the same room yeah. again. So, yes. drink it in, eat it up. Yeah. I don't exciting. know where to look. Enjoy my awkward fidgeting. <laughs> Today we're talking about other places to find style inspiration than the internet. Yes. Yes, because mm-hmm. there's so many other ways to get inspired on how to dress and develop your style and just mm-hmm. looking at Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally. Um, yeah. I, yeah. Being here is like, I think what prompted that, right? Like when you're yeah. in a different environment and you just feel you're exposed to so many other things that you're not used to looking at and I think that's kind of that's it right mm-hmm. like, yeah you yeah see where do you guys get your inspo from if it's not the internet definitely the street I yeah. find like walking around either so we were uh prior to being in Copenhagen we were in London um and I live in Toronto and that's like another sort of fashion city mm-hmm. so it's interesting to see like I don't know I find actually I get probably like the most inspiration or the most like oh I like the way that's put together etc from seeing people in real life because Mm -hmm. you also see the way the clothing moves Mm -hmm. and like the whole aura Mm -hmm. of the person and I think it's like we talked about this in a previous episode it's like when I'm inspired by someone it's like the whole package yeah like you see the way they walk the way they carry themselves Mm -hmm. like and you kind of create like a little story of like who that person is mm-hmm. like oh i wonder where they're going or like they just look like they're ready to go to like some awesome business meeting that's like super important and fancy or they're going to some dinner or maybe they're going to like a photo shoot or like it just creates this like sense of mystery and allure around mm-hmm. it and i yeah. think that is part of it for me when i see inspiration mm. on the street too we talked a little bit about like during the trip, like, oh, did you see that lady in the mm-hmm. airport? Yeah, or, yeah, like, yeah. Did you see that girl on the tube? Yeah. yeah. Did, did you, re- do you remember any outfits that you saw on this trip that you were really, like, into? I yeah. Go. That lady at the airport, she yeah. was dressed in, like, all cream. And, like, it's like, Wait, whoa. Wait, where was this? At the, in Stansted. Yeah, behind oh. us. Behind when us. When we were going to, through security. Yes, right? yeah, we were going through security. Her. She kept oh, me going either. through that long security line. Yeah, yeah. she was, like, <laughs> oh, she was so good. Like, cream overcoat. Uh, sort of like a tan, more like a tan cognac sweater, a bunch of layered necklaces and like rings. I was like shocked. I was like, how did this woman like get through security with all this oh, yeah. jewelry on, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then she had like a nice tapered pant and almost like a, it was, it was like a moccasin. It was like a chunky moccasin, also in cream. Everything else was like, no, this was tan, this was cream. And I just, I loved how she was wearing cream on the plane because most people just go towards black. Yeah. Um, I love a monochrome look. I think it's so good. And I don't know, she just moved very gracefully. She was very like unbothered by everything. And I think to your point, like, Oh, did she have brown hair? Yes, she was like dark. Oh, yes, yes, I think yeah, she was okay, Italian. Yes, I'm gonna yeah, take yeah. credit. I don't know, maybe she wasn't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you're good, you're good. Yeah, great. Are we good, yes. Um, yes, I did see her, yeah. I think she was getting searched when I was getting searched. Oh, cool. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you are chic and fabulous. Yeah, and I, but I, I like how you can almost, like how you were saying, you make up the story of someone in their head, but I also feel like when you're in, in a, the same physical, when you share the same physical space with someone, even if it's outside or whatever, yeah. 
you get a sense of their energy and you can also sense I think if it's authentic or not mm, you know yeah. like in photos it's very it's so easy to like buy an outfit for the gram and take a photo and like look really nonchalant while you're sitting yeah and you can make any piece look good but if you yes. stand the right yeah, way even something that's way. ill-fitting you can like okay if I do this yeah. post then it looks good exactly I find that especially with oversized stuff exactly, like yeah. Yeah. I have put on blazers that are like comically too big for me but you can like exactly yeah. which just proves the point right yeah. you need to look at real people too yes. yeah 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 and then that gives you a sense of whether i think it's like true yes style and to me that's, that's what's more inspirational mm. it's it's not that she's wearing monochrome it's not that she's wearing like a cognac boot it's not about all of those things it's yeah. like ah, this woman is good like this look yeah. was made for this, her yeah, yeah you know i yeah. I think that's the cool bit. It's true, yeah. yeah. There's a woman in my neighborhood that I sometimes meet when I'm out walking the dog. She has a dog too. And she'll wear like uh, really simple outfits. Like in summertime, it would be like a, you know, crew neck t-shirt, like straight cut, kind of really simple. Mm -hmm. And then she always has like a lot of rings and like uh, bracelets on and stuff. And I'm like, this is so cool. Like she's just out walking her dog and, and she's she just rocking all of her yes. jewelry. I love that kind of yes. stuff. Yeah, me too. And it kind of inspires me to be like, okay, well, if she can wear that on a dog walk, so can I. Yeah. 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 It, yeah I find that like, that's the best part about inspiration for me is like, it gives you permission, permission mm -hmm. or just like the, <laughs> the bravery to just go and try something. Yeah. Um, and there's this, the, well, you know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about like, like London style and Copenhagen yes, style yes, that we've noticed so yes, far. And it's yeah. um, because it's just so like, I think that is one of the amazing things about travel. And it always reminds me of like, oh, I need to travel more and like get out of my own city even more because like you can find a lot of inspiration with your, in your own city, like the lady in your neighborhood or just like streets of Toronto, streets of Ottawa, streets of Milan, wherever. But like, whatever's local to you I feel like sometimes maybe that's like you kind of see the same thing over and over again like I find in Toronto it's a it's an awesome fashion hub fashion city but like there's like a Toronto girly right and then there's like a Copenhagen style and a London style so yeah and it's just so different so yeah let's talk about it like what have you noticed about London you, you had a really good rundown I think for, okay. for Copenhagen at least oh okay oh yeah so we've only seen a few like yeah in real life Co Copenhagen uh, women walking yeah. around and I follow a lot of like Copenhagen street style and I find I get a lot of inspiration from that but I'm seeing a lot of it's um, just beautiful women they're kind of like on the go so they want to be comfortable and I'm seeing a lot of like a lot of sneakers either like a chunky sneaker or like a samba or new balance like that kind of thing long oversized overcoat and then everyone's in a either a baseball cap or uh, like a colorful beanie. Like there's a bit of like, there's a pop of color in there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not seeing a lot of backpacks. I'm seeing a lot of tote bags. Mm, yeah. So like, mm -hmm. and I find that's like another like extra chic kind of like commuter. I don't know. It, it just looks great. It looks so it's like comfortable. It's like stylish put together. It's not just like I'm going to throw on like sweatpants because mm -hmm. I got to get out the door and be comfortable. Like I think but if you do, you need to remember the contrast. You need the contrasting yeah. element to make it look like you actually tried, yes. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm not going to knock a sweatpan. I love it. It looks great. Yeah, but yeah. I haven't seen a lot of sweatpants no. in either London or Copenhagen so far. Like people, there's the sneaker element for sure. But like there's, I think that's the other parts, right? There's like jeans and then the long overcoat and the nice bag. And like then the sporty hat kind of brings it all back together, mm -hmm. kind of to match with the shoe vibe. Uh, and it's like a nice, it's a nice balance. Mm -hmm. It looks great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Um, I made a whole video about like Scandy Danish, style. like Scandi. It was more, yeah. not necessarily Copenhagen style, but more Danish style in general. Yeah. Like how to, how to dress like a Dane. Yeah, yeah. 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 So <laughs> um, and it's just, it's not, you know, I'm not saying that everyone dresses this way and it will definitely vary from where I live, which is a small suburb in the Southern part of Denmark. And then we're in Copenhagen, which mm -hmm. is a lot more diverse in many ways yeah. I guess um so so it will definitely vary depending on where you are yeah. uh but yeah I think you're right like um often we talk about Danish stylists very like gray white black like very, very monochrome but I think in Copenhagen people are not afraid to wear like a to pop of color, color. yeah yeah I find it's almost like a 
a reflection. And I, I don't know about you both, but I also find a lot of uh, inspiration from the architecture and just the environment of the, the city of where you're in. And I was commenting to Sina this morning, like, from the very little that I've seen of Copenhagen and Denmark, it's like the this ability to do that high contrast, right? Like it's yesterday it was cold and moody and windy and rainy outside. And yet inside, like you could see everybody's windows, like there's a lot of symmetry. There's a lot of like, you know, like the flat buildings and the, every window is like perfectly square with the perfect sash windows. But inside it's really cozy and warm and there's color and there's life. And I think that's, that was very much reflected in like what you described, right? Like we've got the the function mixed with mm. this beautiful like sumptuous coziness. Yes. I just yeah. I even the room cool. that we're in right now. We talked about it yeah. this morning, right? We have like very raw walls, like a very raw brick wall, mm -hmm. yeah. but then we have this like soft these soft wooden beds and like yeah. we, those like harsh contrasts. I feel even down here, there's like a bit of concrete and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's very. I like feel like that's sunny. very Danish like textures. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> bringing like the you know, the rough and then kind of soften it all up, like mm -hmm. yeah. making it feel more cozy. I like that mix of, yeah, like yeah. it's like a big texture. And I think you see that even in style, like that kind yes. of cozy element yeah. Yeah. is such a big part of the Danish way of like dressing in yeah, general. I yeah. What about, and oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, what about London? Yeah, I was just gonna say, what about I London? noticed a lot of like loafers and like Oxford yes. shoes. Like very classic, yeah. neat. Yes. Yeah. Like literally men in, three-piece suits on the tube I'm like so damn good. yeah <laughs> looks so good and just like so yeah I think the, I got a, little, a lot of inspiration from seeing the men yeah because um like there was one gentleman he had like he had like an ascot on and like a vest three-piece suit blazer nice are those are those as a they're not loafers they're are they called oxford shoes like the ones the, with the lace with, with the, the laces lace. yeah or a brogue depends yeah, a brogue, if there's yeah. but if, if they're the, perforated yeah mm -hmm. yes yeah, so okay brogue um and they like a beautiful cognac brown and they had like his like messenger bag mm -hmm. reading a book and i'm like this is like I don't want to say it's like the stereotype, but it is kind of like what you think of when you see like when you think of like British style. So it's like very smart, mm. proper, chic, very put together, but proper just like um, but there was also a sense of effortlessness to it as yeah. well. And I was just like, like the fact that you can be commuting in this yeah. outfit, like to me, I would feel very dressed up and like yeah. overdone. But I feel like so the, the story that I'm creating around the people that I see that inspire me, I'm like, oh, you do this every day. Mm. Like I can tell, I don't know, that's just like the sense that I get. Mm. I so there's right. like, there's just like sense of pride and like getting dressed or even like when we were on our way to the airport, uh, it was like six in the morning mm. and I saw a girl like in the, um, in like Paddington station, 6 a.m. done up, like she got up early to get ready for her day and it's like before the sun has risen. Mm, yeah. That was a priority. For yeah. Her. yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that's like really cool because for me, I'd just be like, oh, I like, I'm gonna be like a, I'm gonna be a bag of shit this morning. And like, <laughs> <laughs> like. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> real. Yeah. yeah. So like, I also found the women's fashion in London to be like very, and I find this about Brit, like British humor in general also, like it's very quirky. Yeah. Like there's a lot of quirk, there's a lot of prints, there's a lot of like really interesting silhouettes. Mm -hmm. Again, like this crazy contrast, but with almost less focused on the texture element and more just on the like personality. Mm. Like it's like different personalities in one look. Yeah. And I thought, I think they do that so, so well. Like a, a super shaggy, bright purple coat I think I saw on one woman and then like a sneaker and jeans like mm. it's just really yeah. really cool like mm. cool mix of styles and personality there yeah I like that yeah. did you have you had a woman in mind or someone in mind with an outfit that you, before I mentioned airport lady from like London? an outfit that stood out was it from London or Copenhagen I no know. I was the two yeah, I think it was the two girls on the Copenhagen subway that okay. we on the metro okay. um on the way here so they they got on and they kind of looked like sisters to me um was it the one with the little the little <gasps> mini scarf I, I the think one yeah I I don't remember that but I remember like I remember the sneakers they were both in jeans like and and the jeans were like a kind of like a relaxed fit and one had it, like her coat was almost like a blazer yeah, so yeah, it was like a one. thick check yeah like a um, almost yeah and what was the print what is what's like all the Hound, squares baby houndstooth baby houndstooth print and then the other one was in a long overcoat and both i think i can't remember with one or both had 
just the baseball caps on, yeah. but then their hair was down and it was kind of like half back, but not like it was like like out, but like a lot of like this, mm. you know, so just like really effortless and like throw on. And it was just, yeah, I'm like, that's it. Yeah. Because to me, it's like the, it's that level of, I love, so my style words are like, um, are, my style words are minimal, classic, and sporty with a modifier of edgy. Um, and I think the sporty element of my style is how I integrate a lot of like relaxation into my, into my look. So like, I love a pair of sneakers with denim or and then pairing a blazer with that so like I think that kind of like relaxed oversized just throw on mm -hmm. element is like what I'm really attracted to mm -hmm. and I love to see that I love to see how other people do it because I think like when I was like starting to play with oversized style I would just like size up like a bunch of sizes and then wonder why it wasn't really working yeah. Right. Um, yeah so you need to kind of balance it out yeah yeah either through the elements of style mm -hmm. because I think it an all oversized look can be cool too yeah, but then yeah. you definitely need to think about like other things like the colors you're putting together or like the contrasting elements or mm -hmm. like what you can do to kind of lift it and make it to polish it off kind of yeah yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's funny because actually oh I know what it was too it was actually like seeing Sina in real life for the first time <laughs> really? so we went to go pick her up and I'm like I've seen like this overcoat I've seen <laughs> the green one yeah I've seen your like sneakers and like how you do your style I've seen your outfits before but like seeing it in real life versus on camera it's just there's something so different to it I'm like oh my gosh she's so chic and just so cool oh, and like the way the like again it's like seeing the movement of the clothes and like how the whole person carries themselves yeah. in their style and I find also like with you like you get ready for the day like right away she, Sina's like an early riser oh, yeah. I'm finding. <laughs> so she's like she's like up and at him so I'm like getting out of bed and I'm like all just like where am I yeah. and she's like so fresh and done up so like you can see that you take a lot of time and like pride in yourself and like that's part of like your the thing that you do first thing in the morning and it's like I don't know it's just cool and inspiring and it's just cool to see it all like come together as a package yeah, yeah. cute <laughs> yeah, I've always been an early riser that's like my prime time of the day like, yeah yeah and then it'll drop later but, yeah 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 because yeah. after the dip yeah. the crash yeah <laughs> So, yeah, there's something to seeing things in real life that yeah. mm -hmm. um, that just makes it, yeah, I feel a like... A whole it, other experience. Yeah, it yeah, makes it all together. It all mm -hmm. coming together, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think now that we're on the topic of, like, how we put together outfits and how we see each other, like, mm -hmm. um, because it's the same experience for me, kind of. Like, uh, Christina, you have, like, what I really like about your style and what I find really inspiring is that like you're very, I think, especially like being a little bit more edgy and like mm -hmm. creative, I think I'm very inspired by that okay. because I, I, um, I'm trying to work in edgy in my outfits, but it's also, I don't know. It's also, I think your aura, like you're like, yeah. I don't know, so chill and like, you know, oh, thanks. <laughs> it's, um, but you, you, you seem very confident and like, yeah. you know what you want. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, you know, I'm, I can be a bit of a pushover sometimes. Aww. So it's like, you know, it's very inspiring for me to like see how that all comes together and yeah. how that fits with your style, which is very like, I feel very sharp and like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. I just, uh, that's like something I had to learn of just like throwing things together. And mm -hmm. because I do think it, it is different on camp, like even on, um, like sometimes I'll get comments on my like YouTube styling videos. And I know my style's not for everybody. <laughs> so it's like, like, oh, like, that's, like, way too big for you mm. or, like, those kind of comments. And I'm, like, that's fine, but, like, I know what I like and what I feel good in. And if I'm throwing that on, like, if it's way too big for me, that's part, like, it's a, there's, some, there's something intentional about it. Like, I'm yeah. aware. So yes. it's just, like, how do you, like, I want this vibe and I want to try to make it work and I want to play with it. So I'm just going to, like, go out and own it. Yeah. you know um and I think that takes a little bit of time and experimentation and like maybe the first time you throw something on it's like yeah. oh my god this is ridiculous this is like sometimes it doesn't work I and I think whatever it is in your gut but like if you want it to work like remember when we did this shop your closet and we styled yeah. we called it the mother blazer yes so like 
It's like very, I have this blazer, it's like quite oversized, but it's engineered to be oversized. So it's actually, it's my correct size. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, but when I first tried it on, I'm like, this is ridiculous. But the more you play with it, and now I'm like, oh no, I love this blazer. Like I love wearing it and it's like, cause you like zhuzh it up, you play mm -hmm. around, you yeah. do the like the big slim skin proportion. Yes. Um, Can we touch on big slim skin let's for touch people on big, who skin. just for people who haven't? Yeah, so this is if you're like inspired by. Um, so big slim skin is a is a principle uh, by Tibby. It's in the Tib dictionary, so the Tibby dictionary. Um, so it's a term created by Amy Smilovic, who is our like, she's like the mother of high style, priestess. high yeah, priestess of is. style. <laughs> um, but I I really love the idea of big slim skin especially if you want to play with oversized dressing and like but proportions in proportions general, in general mm -hmm. yeah um because i think it works for for anybody any age any size because it's just how you combine clothes together and those proportions so if if an outfit is feeling out of balance this is to the wearer so you can be wearing like big 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 aka oversized on oversized on oversized mm -hmm. and feel great and if you feel great, there's nothing wrong with the outfit. You don't need to employ this rule. Same with slim. If you're going slim on slim on slim and you love it and you're going for that like sleek cat, cat woman kind of look, yeah. mm. perfect. Also love. Yeah. Yes. So, but this is more um, if you're combining things and it just doesn't feel right, you can play, try this with the clothes when they're on your body or you make like one simple swap and then the, the clothing will start to feel better. So... You have your big element, which is like your oversized, your flowy, more voluminous piece. Combine that with a slim. So whether it be a slim top, a slim shoe, um, a slimmer blazer, like mm -hmm. uh, some slim element to that fit. Mm -hmm. And then uh, skin. So showing some skin. So that could be a simple rolling up of the sleeve. If you have a button up, maybe you're opening up the chest a little bit more. Or it could even be showing oh. your foot or the ankle. So... Um, so if I'm wearing something quite big, like the Big Mother blazer, then I'll employ big slim skin. I'll wear, instead of wearing like an oversized t-shirt underneath, I'll wear like a bodysuit or Ex roll it up Actually sleeve. what you're wearing right now, yeah, right? This you is a really good example. Yeah. Big slim skin. Yeah, <laughs> the, slimmer, <laughs> the slimmer top. Yeah. Is that like a tank top or is yeah. it a t-shirt? It's a, a long, long, like a baby t-shirt right. kind of. It's a long sleeve t-shirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So uh -huh. it's like adding that element of definition so that you don't get lost. Yeah, yeah. it looks really good, yeah. So like... There's not a lot of skin here, but sometimes slim, That's if you're fully covered, is also your skin because it's almost oh, like, yeah. it's like pretty much on your body. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, so, or maybe I'll show the top of my foot with yeah. my shoe or something like that. So to me, that's such a game changing um, technique mm -hmm. to, to make something work that you're trying to make work. Yeah. Um, so if like, if you have all oversized and then you throw on a chunky sneaker and it feels off, try a slimmer sneaker or a ballet flat mm. or, a, or even a flip-flop, like yeah, a sandal or something. Yes. Um, and that's just like a great, great way to like, tr because I think so a lot of the style I see that I'm inspired by is fairly oversized. So there's like an oversized element to it. And uh, I think making oversized work, as you say, it, oversized on oversized on oversized can work, but if it's too much for you, then like bringing in those principles, mm. and it also works with the hair, yeah. oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Like um, wearing a more. If that's what I actually like to do, if I'm wearing something super slouchy all the way through, like yeah. even mm. I like highlighting my waist to yeah. like make my legs look longer. Mm -hmm. um, but some days, especially I'm working from home, I will just wear like black tailored pants and then my gray big sweater and just let it hang loose. Yeah. And, because yeah. I find that's a look too. Yeah. And then I'll sleep back my hair so that yeah. it kind of polishes yeah. off and exactly. like balances yeah. out. Yeah. 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 So that definitely counts. Yeah. yeah. Even the makeup too, I find. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily a full face, but like balancing out like where you polish it or like where you... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like doing like a like a very bold eye with a nude lip or a very bold lip yeah. with like the rest being very minimal. Like yeah, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I and I guess uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I really love about your style, Alyssa, is that oh. you. I, I and I think I said this before. You have a more creative approach, which I really like. Mm -hmm. Like you don't necessarily overthink things or like right. overdo it. Yeah. 
Like you have a very creative, like even with the hair, like we were doing oh my hair God, yesterday. Yeah, we're, we're the Botticelli wave. <laughs> <laughs> She's got. Yeah, it looks great. It looks yeah. Like, like two yeah. socks. Yeah, we did like sock curls. If you don't know what it is, then yeah. Google it. Yeah. Like oh it's, <laughs> it's all over. Um, but like you mentioned this morning, yeah, that my hair is a bit wild, but I yeah, like that. It's a bit like, wild. yeah, that's it's, the undone piece. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it like yeah. suits the way you carry yourself oh, and the way you style your yeah, outfits. Thanks. And... I have to say, like both of your styles, I think it's so cool because they're so it's they're so different like Christina like how you were saying with Christina like it's very the same word came to mind like strong yeah like <laughs> sharp sharp yeah. point of view like very like a strong point of view and it's cool because I know you personally right like we yeah. now, now we know each of you personally mm -hmm. so it's almost like it underscores like how brilliant like I like you're so intelligent and so brilliant and like it's just really cool to see that come out in your clothing as well yeah, like yeah. the strong point and of I view. think it proves how powerful it is to like figure out what your words are like yeah. it really is not just something you say like oh well it's because I like that aesthetic or whatever it is like yeah. yes but it's also rooted within me and that's what I am as a person yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah because it's like yes. you getting to know the person then you can kind of see I'm like yeah. oh I can see how those words come through totally. yes. like for you I, I know your words are like um minimal classic and undone yeah. but I would say your modifier is almost like dramatic Ooh. there's like a yeah, like salt like yeah, there's some... Because you're, like, there's a sense of, like, theatrics to you. <laughs> like, you're very bubbly and, like, very, like... Yeah. And I know you are a drama girl. Right. Like, you are... You come from musical theater yeah, and, yeah. like... So, I mean, uh, so Alyssa packed this beautiful blazer that's, oh like, God. very... Very structural, very angular. Yeah. So, like, along with your style, I feel like that... Those... That piece is... That piece, like, added the drama. And then, like, the sleeves are, like, a jersey. Yeah. So it's like a very structured blazer, but then the sleeves are like a very casual element, but you yeah. can't tell. No. But at the same time, I'm like, that's how your words come in. Right. And then you throw that blazer on and then your hair is always just like, I feel like, I, yeah, your hair is like part of your element and aura. Like that's part of your styling tool. Right. Yeah. Um, so she had this blazer on and it was just like with her hair just going and yeah. it was just. And you can throw gorge. it to one side and just look great. Like yeah, you don't have yeah. to like. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, so yeah. I mean, I mean, like, I know you want like the bombshell thing. I think yes, the bombshell yes. is like a modifier, but the dramatic. That's a good one too. I never yeah. heard of that word. Yeah. Dram oh. But that's also kind of connected to the classic word, right? So they're kind of like connected. Mm. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. It's cool. That's so, cool. Um, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, I don't know. And I find that I'm like thinking about your styling videos now cuz mm. like you do like the uh, I don't know, I've seen you in like that bodice top, like it's like a yeah, corset almost. Yeah. And then you throw on like your dear friend, the tall boots. She's yeah. got these like tall, chunky boots, yeah. and it's just like very sleek and like. It's drama. It's drama. It's like, right. drama. It is a good word. You're right. Yeah. Drama yeah. is a good word. Yeah. I'm change that to my modifier because yeah. it's also more like broad. Like bombshell has like it's a bit more singular, but drama is a better. I think that's a much better word yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, gonna work on that. I love how yeah. we're like yeah, connecting the dots there, yeah. like and also like just a reminder for people if you are trying to find your words because I get sometimes from people that oh yeah, I, it took me like a year to even find one word. It's like, okay, but maybe focus less just on the aesthetics and try to like explore mm. who you are as yes. a person. Yeah. Like if, if someone had to describe you like with three words, yes. like what would that be? And maybe think less about the style for a little while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like what inspires you? What do you enjoy? Yeah. yeah, that's a really, really good takeaway. Yeah. Are there any movies or shows that helped sort of define your style that or that you can think of off the top that really inspires you? Where you're like, just damn, I love the style in this so much. Mm. Oh, I mean, Gossip Girl was huge. I never- I've never seen what? it. What? I, <laughs> what? I started I and it was like, well, yeah. there, it's, there, there are too many episodes. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that was like the epitome. Like I never- Blair I never or thought, the other one? But I, so it was, it wasn't necessarily like how it influenced my style. I just thought the costuming in general of that show was like so good because mm. it was to, to all of our points about how like it's cool when clothing underscores the actual essence of a person. I really felt like the costuming is what clinched everybody's character in that show. You right. know what I mean? Like yeah. you really felt who they were um, because of what they were wearing. I liked both. I loved Blair's like super preppy headband, sock, like whatever. And yeah. then I loved Serena's like sparkly boho, whatever. I don't know. 
I, there's not one like currently and I think it's because just like with the digital age and like social media I get a lot of inspiration from social media mm-hmm. um, are there any like eras or like mm. celebrities or I mean cool? I used to I I used to watch The Hills a lot, like, oh. with that whole, like, with, <laughs> and I feel like I might have been very inspired by what they wore on that show, show back uh, back then. Also because it was very wearable, like, the mm. outfit, because they were a real person in a reality TV show, so I feel like I often, like, replicated, like, Lauren Conrad. She, had, she has a much more, like, feminine, soft way of dressing than what I do now but I feel like at the time I was very much trying to 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 like nail that and dress that way like little a-line skirts and like ballet flats and Mm -hmm. you know cute little top or like cute top and a pair of jeans um so I was very inspired by that at the time but I can't think of a show in particular Maybe Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Ooh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the one with like Sarah Michelle Gellar, like yeah. from the 90s. And um, I remember really being drawn to Faith. Did you ever watch the show? Faith? Yeah. Faith? No, no, no. Oh, the Buffy? Buffy. So Faith in Buffy. So she was like the second Vampire Slayer. And then she ended up being like the bad, the badass one. Was she the young one? Um, she was like a, she was like a mid character. I think she came in okay. around season two. So there's an episode where Buffy dies for like a second. So the second the vampire slayer dies, a new vampire slayer is born. So then Faith came in. <laughs> so then there were, anyways, I love Buffy. Um, but that's, that era is very like every, you know, like Spike and Angel. So Angel always wore like the leather blazers and Spike had the long leather trench coat. And then Buffy would have like the leather pants. Um, and like those like really chunky boots and then Faith, when she came in, she was kind of like badass, edgy, cool. Mm -hmm. So she always had like a dark Mm -hmm. 90s red lip and her hair was like dark like mine. And like, she always had a leather jacket on, like a biker jacket. And I'm just like, I'm like, I feel like that, like, I think that combined with like my parents because they were bikers growing Mm -hmm. up. So, and like we, you know, we listened to a lot of blues in the house, like a lot of Stevie Ray Vaughan, BB King, um, that kind of stuff. So I feel like that all really influenced my style and I think that's where I get a lot of inspiration. So like, or like 90s, like Winona Ryder or like Mm -hmm. Drew Barrymore from the 90s, Kate Moss, like. Actually, now that we say like TV show, like I've watched Friends a lot and especially the early episodes, like the Levi Mm -hmm. G, like especially Monica. Okay, Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox, yeah, 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 her style actually really, yeah, just the, then the real like 90s Levi's jeans yeah. and then just the t-shirt and the white sneakers and yeah. stuff, red lip, like yeah. really. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I get a lot of inspiration from the 90s and early 2000s in general, like the, the, the yeah, yeah. Not, the, not the 2010s, not like the low rise, not yeah. like the Paris Hilton and like the, no, the, the, the jeans with the fly this yeah. long, but the and... early 2000s, yeah, like yeah. 1999, mm-hmm. 2000, that kind of vibe. Yeah, I get yeah. a lot from that and I think that's like where the minimalism kind of comes Mm -hmm. into right like um like early Calvin Klein and like Mm -hmm. yeah I like how both of your shows are very much also reflections of your uh, of your current like personalities and style even like Like, I was thinking, like, Christina, like, look at who your, like, strong female character, like, badass, <laughs> kick-ass woman, like, literally. The eyeliner <laughs> flick and the nails. Right? Like, like, it's like, so, yeah, yeah, it's like, really, really cool. And then for Lauren, um, I never watched The Hills, but, like, so, like, approachable and soft and, like, chill, like, moving through life. And that's something that, like, I thought, like, when I was watching that, like, you in the California, subway, yeah, like, like, California, like, ease. Like, I find when I think of you and your style, like, there's so much ease and softness and it's mm-hmm. always rooted in like functionality so that you can move through life like mm-hmm. you were just like so like at the airport and like in the subway like especially in Copenhagen I don't know maybe it's because we were in Denmark and I was like this is Tina's home like yeah, this yeah, is where yeah. we are and so like I don't know you just like you had your bag and you just like wandering around with your coat and I just felt like you you kind of like you're very like soft the way you move through life yeah. you know what I do you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying totally. am I describing yeah. this correctly no like, I totally you float uh, you float yeah <laughs> I love that I've actually like thought about maybe soft should be one of my words Um. not in the sense of like super frilly girly like but no but yeah but how you move through life I feel like is very soft yeah Yeah. Yeah. you know so I don't anyway I thought that was and I just both of your shows I was like okay cool there's like a gentleness 
to and I think like yeah, like there's like there yeah there's like a nurturing vibe to it too yes. and like maybe because you're a mom now and it's just mm -hmm. like a you know that kind of part comes through so yeah yeah mm -hmm. I just get like a lot of there's a gentle aura. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> and it goes with your soft color palette. Yes. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. yeah. We What's all learn going on something. with the shower? <laughs> so our shower takes a, lo a long time to... Oh, there we go. It's done. I think because oh, they run like on pumps. Or, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're at an eco-friendly hotel. So. Yes, yes. Yeah. I can't pronounce the hotel name, so I'm going to okay, leave it to yeah, our, yeah. our oh, resident yeah. Danish um, so, woman to do that. Yeah, so they, they have like an Instagram call just called Eco Hotel, so that's definitely the more international yes. name there. But the hotel is called Gullsmilden, so, um, which essentially like means goldsmith. Mm. Or it's like their logo is the buck, so it's more like the dragon, dragonfly. dragonfly, but directly translated, it means goldsmith. Um, but yeah, it's an eco friendly hotel, really nice. They have Beautiful, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Great so far, yeah. Really lovely. Great breakfast, great gym, like yeah. lovely beds, and just, mm. yeah, very nice. And they, they yeah, they go all, all the way, like with their sustainability efforts. Yeah. Like, they gave us these like refillable yeah. water bottles yeah. and then they have for your tr for your rubbish that you throw there's like it, it all just doesn't go in the in the bin here mm -hmm. you like take it out in the hallway and you can sort it properly and stuff and like kind of do your part here too which yeah. is very very cool like, like they really make it easy to um, be a little more it's the toilet paper sustainable yeah. <laughs> yeah. and refillable um yeah refillable shampoo bottles yes. in the bathroom yeah and yeah cool. i think even the with the shower now running it's because there's like a specific system so, to save water mm -hmm. yeah um yeah. yeah so really great very recommendable and yeah. I love thank you thank yes. you for thank having you for us. hosting yes. where we're filming that podcast yeah today. i'm definitely going to check out because they're not just here in in copenhagen so no. like next time i travel i'm going to look for I this chain because it's so good yeah berlin yeah several Ugh places in yeah. Europe. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I really have. And I like how you said it's easy to be sustained. Like, it's easy to make yeah, more convenient. conscious cho choices. It's yeah. convenient. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And for full transparency and advertisement disclosure, this hotel was part of a gifted collaboration, so we did stay there free of charge. So let us know what inspires you in terms of your style outside of the internet, because there's just so much more yeah. when you kind of increase your horizons about how you can find your style and build off of it and take chances with it. Yeah, I think so. even just looking at someone close to you, yeah. like try to get into the drill of doing that and like connect the dots. It's yeah. a great personal style And I think, experience. I think too, just before we go, like that just makes me think of, because we can always be like, you know, and think about it next time you're like looking at style content on the internet and being like, oh, I don't like this outfit. Mm -hmm. Think about what you do like from it. What inspires yeah. you about it? Or can you flip that script to be like, okay, this might not be my style, but what is it about? Like, mm -hmm. what's she doing that I admire here? Like, what can I learn from this? Um, and maybe it, maybe it is something, maybe it, what you do learn is that, like, I don't like that and I wouldn't wear that. But like, you know, props to them for trying kind yes. of thing. So like flipping it into a positive, I think is always really helpful. Um, yeah, because I feel like there's just so much like Ugh, I would never wear that yes. yeah. online and it can make it almost closes you off to trying new things and experimenting yeah. and just being brave with your style too a little yes. bit. Yes. So you're completely right. Yeah. Good point. Well yeah. said. Right. So Thank let us know. Yeah. Leave us a comment. Let us know who inspires you, what inspires you, because I just I love to know that too. It's like, yeah. you know, then you discover people and styles and auras and essences that yeah. are just like like damn i wish i learned that sooner so mm -hmm. see you next week in the next one yeah bye. Bye. bye thank you so much for joining in our conversation this week if you're enjoying the show we'd love it if you subscribe to the podcast on spotify and apple and leave us a rating and review it's one of the best ways to support the sustain this podcast at zero cost to you we're also a community-led podcast, so if you have any questions for us, topic requests, or even guests you want to hear from, please send us a DM on Instagram at sustainthis underscore podcast. We read all of our comments and look forward to hearing from you. We hope you join us again next Tuesday, where we'll talk about so much more than clothes. Ciao!